everybody. Another learning activity based on number and coin counting today because we use money every single day. We think about money or we use it, okay? And it's a really, really important skill that we start to learn. So you've counted the coins in Ham's piggy bank. Now, it's a very similar activity, but they're not in Ham's piggy bank today. You're just going to write out the number sum. So Miss Nixon has got an example here of some of the questions that you will be given. I'm not going to do them all because otherwise I'm giving you all the answers. So Miss Nixon thought she would just share these with you. So for my question, it says counting coins. Can you write out the money sums using numerals, using our numbers, and calculate the answers? Remember, you will need to identify the value of each coin first. So you need to know how much each coin is worth. So I'm going to put number one here and I'm going to do these in red so that you can see that they are my answers. OK, you can see my answers. OK, right. So number one, I can see that my coin here, this coin, it's got the number 10 on it. 10 pence. I know my 10 pence is silver and round. So I'm going to write 10 not come up in the right in the right size 10 what do I need to remember when I'm using money that's it pence plus and then this coin here two pence so a nice easy one to start equals now remember when we're adding the easiest way to do this is to make sure you put the largest number in your head so the largest number here is my 10 pence coin okay so 10 in my head and i'm going to count on now some of you might know this but some of you might like to count on to check so 10 11 12 12 and then i must remember my pence at the end and that's all you need to do then we're going to answer number two now exactly the same apart from you will see that we have got in die three coins so our sum is a little bit more tricky but don't worry i believe that you can all do it you're fantastic now what you might want to do here you might want to write the values of the coins underneath and then write your sum in order of the size of the numbers now i can see i have a 50 pence coin a two pence coin and a five pence coin and i know that 50 is the biggest number there. So I'm going to write 50 pence. Then I must remember my add sum because I'm adding the numbers together. Then I have a two pence and I have a five pence. The other thing that you might want to do, you might want to draw a line through the coin once you've written it down so you don't get confused. So Miss Nixon can't draw a line on here. So I'm going to delete that coin because I've written it down here. Now I've got a two pence and I've got a five pence and I know that five is bigger than two. So I'm going to add that one next. Five pence. I'm going to delete that so I don't get confused. And my last coin here is two pence. Equals. Now you could either add your two numbers together. So I could add my 50 pence and my five pence. And I know that 50 and five more is 55 or I could put the 50 in my head and count it on and then I could write underneath here if I wanted to I could write I could write that um write 50 pence and five pence equals 55 pence then what I could do I know that 50 at 5 pence is 55 pence. I've got 2 pence left to add. So 55 in my head and count on 56, 57 pence. So now I've added that one too. And I can write 57 pence. You must remember to put your pence, okay? Right, now, this last one. I know that you can all count in tens. I know you can, okay? So what you could do, really, really easy. We know that these are 10 pence each. 10, 20, 30, 40. So 10 pence add 10 pence add 10 pence add 10 pence is 40 pence. Okay, and you can write your number seven. Well done, guys. Don't forget to send your learning in overseas. So bye.